On this episode of Jaycation, we're here in Key West on Duval Street. Cheers, y'all. What's up? We're back, baby. We're not in Miami, though. Not in Miami. We're in Key West. Yep. It's Monday night, August uh, 8th, right? August 8th. Is yep. it 8th? Yes, August 8th, 2022, 84 Fahrenheit, 29 Celsius, and time's about 9.45 p.m. Jay's never been to Key West. Today's his first night here. I'm popping my Key West cherry, man. This is uh, awesome. We, we've been here since the afternoon. I was so tired. Uh, all my traveling's finally ca catching up to me, but we're here at Duval Street. I'm having myself a little uh, Miami Vice, and uh, <laughs> we're gonna walk around. I'm all shiny, too. Look at this. I know. That's Look what the weather sweat. does to you. I'm shiny, too. You can see it up here. But we're starting off at Duval Street on the corner of Green Street and Duval in front of Sloppy Joe's. If anyone's watching the live stream webcam, it's up there. I know it's a pretty popular webcam, so this is broadcasted to YouTube on the uh, Key West YouTube channel. What's up all from the Action Kid live stream? Live to ballstreet.com. Oh yeah, we should show Sloppy Joe's. Let's uh, go to the side here. I'll show you the vibes. Oh, there's an entertainment calendar for Sloppy Joe's too. Today's uh, Monday, so uh, right now we have, uh, wait, eight. Actual bank robbers. Time seven. Jerd Rube. Yeah, Jerd Rube, I guess, is playing right now. No, wait. I don't get this. They haven't updated the calendar yet. Oh, okay. That's why I was confused. I was like, wait. <laughs> Here's Sloppy Joe's Bar, very popular place in Key West, known for being uh, Ernest Hemingway's favorite place to come to. So, oh, yeah. Ernest Hemingway uh, went to this bar, now Jaycation and AK. I'm going <laughs> to finish this. Here's to Ernest Hemingway and Olivia Newton-John who passed away today. Sherry says, is it always busy in Key West? Uh, I don't know. I don't come here often. I don't check the live stream often at Sloppy Joe's, but uh, you know, that's a good point because I think I've gone on to like the live stream from time to time. Hi. We've gone on the live stream from time to time and um, I've seen it busy outside Sloppy Joe's whenever it's nighttime, so it might be. So yeah, Jay was down here and I was like, hey man, we got to go to Key West. You've never been? I said, I said, what the heck, man? I've never been here. Why not? We're here to explore. So yeah, spur the moment. Let's go. <laughs> okay. So what's your impressions of the Vol Streets? I was saying it's like an island version of Fremont Street in Las Vegas mixed with a little bit of bourbon street. You can get the smells, the hard alcohol, the sloshed people. The They're sloshed all around people. Here. The humidity is crazy. <laughs> That's right. Uh, Laurie, it took about four hours to get here. Four hours? Oh yeah. God, we drove from downtown Miami. And we got the Lucy's Retired Surface Bar and Restaurant. I had the brunch here, it was amazing. It does feel like a Bourbon Street vibe because there's live musicians all over the place. Yeah man, this is like a copyright city here for you. <laughs> yeah, but cover bands, they uh... It's a little bit harder for YouTube to detect them. Yep. 
Only if you stay around for a little bit. But Jay, you've been uh, through all the tropical places like in a matter of two weeks, three weeks, right? In the United States. This is probably uh, next to South Beach. It's been pretty lively, man. South Beach was crazy on Saturday. <laughs> Uh, Oahu over in Waikiki, it's pretty busy in the main area. Uh, I know. When people think of uh, vacation in the U.S. for like the summertime, well, not necessarily summer, but they think of Miami, Key West, and Hawaii. Yep. Those are the tropical places where there's like palm trees. And 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 vacation was uh, hovered to these places over the summer. <laughs> Actually, kid, you were telling me something about this place earlier. I'm sure you told your audience already. Yeah, it's a three-story building. There's three separate bars. It's the only place in Key West like it. There's the Bull on the first floor. There's the Whistle Bar on the second, I guess because people are up there, they can whistle to the people down below. At the very top, there's another bar called the Garden of Eden, and that's a clothing optional bar. So <laughs> you won't be you won't be able to see what's up there unless you're actually up there. Yep. That's why it's in a little bit and it's on the rooftop. There's a bunch of trees. You should get a drone and check it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's another way to check it out, I guess. A <laughs> drone, but I don't own one. I got one. It's not open yet, though. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm sweating, AK. I know, Jay's not used to the humidity, he's used to the San Diego low humidity. Yeah, man. It's pretty hot in San Diego right now, but it's not like this. <laughs> Even Hawaii wasn't like this. Key lime colada. So, uh, what drinks did you have today that were based on like key lime flavor? So I did have a key lime colada. And then I had another Miami Vice. So I've only had two drinks so far today. Uh huh. Hey, that's a lie. I've had three. <laughs> <laughs> I had a beer during lunch. And here we've got the Hard Rock. I was telling Ken that I wanted to try the Lionel Messi burger. It just came out, and then I finally saw the picture. It looks like it takes five people to eat that thing. Look how big that thing is. Life gets messy. How many beef patties are in this thing? There must be at least like three that I could see from this picture. The top layer is like, I don't know. That's a heart attack. There's sausage on the top. Oh, there's sausage. That's what it is. I was like, there's sausage, bacon, cheese. It's going to take you like a week to digest that just on your own. For sure. So Jay uh, just gave up on that idea. Yep. I'm good now. I actually had a Caribbean jerk chicken sandwich for dinner and some conch. Excellent. Conch was good. <laughs> that was good stuff. Andrew Morales asking if Messi actually ate that thing. I don't well, know. Well, Messi's the goat, man. They, they have to have a burger named after him. <laughs> Yeah, Maria, I'm in Key West. I uh, surprised everyone with this visit and even brought Jaycation down here. I was like, where are we going today, actually, kid? And he was like, dude, we're going to Key West. And I was like, what? Yeah. I thought we were going to South Beach again. <laughs> and uh, Key West, I mean, uh, Miami to Key West Drive. There's no slouch, you're, folks. You're it takes three and a half hours at least. For us, it took four hours. There's a lot of other places that you can go within uh, four hours. Like. Oh, all right. You gonna keep walking? Yeah, you can go. two seconds. Okay. Go check it out. Jay's gonna go and uh, check out some souvenirs at the shop. Yeah, I was saying, uh, four hours is a lot of driving. Even uh, Jay told me that from San Diego to Los Angeles, driving there is like two hours, two and a half hours. Uh, SD Chung, we are staying overnight in Key West. Let's do it. 
All right, what'd you see, Jay? Was there anything interesting well, I, in the I shop? Saw, I saw a Superman shirt with uh, NFL team logos on it. So I was trying to find a Raider one because my friend Clark, who you see on my channel a lot, he's a big Raider fan and he loves Superman because his name is Clark. So I wanted to look if they had it and get him a shirt. So I might go back with him uh, tomorrow or something. All right. Yeah, Jay's out here. I told him some video ideas. He's going to be putting out a lot of content from Key West when he uh, gets around to it. Yeah, I have 4% I have left. 4% left on my camera for the day. So we're pretty much just going to live stream on AK's channel the rest of the night. And yeah. I'll probably go live tomorrow. We're kind of tired. So All right. I'll probably go live tomorrow. That'll work. I know I told Jay, if you have some energy, you can go after me, but... I think he's pretty knocked out tonight. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. You never know. We might end up, you know. Yeah. He didn't want key lime win. pie either, but he ended it. up getting one. Oh, that key lime pie was something else from Kermit. You'll see it on both our channels. Uh, I got the one on uh, the chocolate, white chocolate dip. Uh-huh. Amazing, man. Oh, well, Lizzo C says you like Jaycation's new hat. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Yeah. The Miami Beach hat. <laughs> I got it on your, during your live stream. I yep, got it. That's yeah. right. Over at uh, Bayside. Bayside Marketplace. Oh, and uh, we are going to miss the Margaritaville. No, wait, we did pass it. How come? Maybe Margaritaville isn't on the on Duval. No, it is. Oh, wait, well, never we mind. Did, no, we did. Remember when you saw no, the, no, the key it's, line? No, no, it's the next block. But what was that key lime place we saw? The key lime Rita. I thought that was Margaritaville. No, it's a, it's the next block. Yeah, it's kind of hidden away. Cause it's under like a an awning. Wasting away in Margaritaville. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm hearing that Jimmy Buffett song all around, and and I was playing some '80s music on the way here to Key West, so we were listening to uh, "More Bounce to the Ounce." <laughs> what a song, man. Yep. Yeah, we were playing all that hits, the, the Vice City, Grand Theft Auto hits. We were having fun driving <laughs> down the Key West. So uh, you won't be seeing a driving video from me going to Key West. I mean, I've done it like four times already on my channel. <laughs> Thank, Thank you so very much, bro. Well, well, you did a part driving video. Yeah, I did a little bit. On the Seven Mile Bridge. Yeah. I, almost, <laughs> I almost let go of his camera. I had it over his sunroof. And a gust of wind took it, and I was like, oh crap. <laughs> I almost lost uh, one of uh, AK's uh, iPhones. Oh no. I know. So we have only like a small section of the drive that gonna be, that's going to be going up to our channel. What happened? Oh. Oh yeah, all this artwork. I couldn't do the right like giant some of these art galleries here are ripoffs. Like people pay like thousands and thousands of dollars, and then what they get is either fake or they never get some stuff. I don't know. I just read an article earlier. It's crazy. Yeah, I don't know how. Is, but I don't know how songs. true uh, these articles are. You know, a lot of people say that the five dollar places were ripoffs too, but I'm like, hey, it's a five dollar place. How how can you say they're ripoffs? How bad can it really be? So we've got better rip-offs for you coming on uh, Jay Kaysen's channel when he finally gets around to editing and publishing it. We're working on it. We filmed about 30% of it today. So yeah. We'll get more done tomorrow. Yeah, Laurie, this is uh, his first time in Key West. You see it, Jay? That's cool, man. I'm asking if you see it, the Margaritaville. Oh, there it is. It's a small one. Yeah. That's because it's the original. Oh, the original Margaritaville, huh? We gotta go and uh, cross the street. Did you expect it to be bigger? That's what she said. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, honestly, but I always thought that like Jimmy Buffett saying Margaritaville because of uh, uh, Key West. Uh huh. That was my thought. Maybe that was the case. I don't know. Uh, wasting away, maybe it's a, a state of mind being in Margaritaville, you know? Like you're wasting away drinking all these drinks. Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville store. This is the 
cafe. Oh, no, it's yeah. over here. Cafe and the restaurants here. Here's Margaritaville. It's nice in here, right? Buffett Parkway. Live music. Cool, man. I like it. Yeah. See y'all next time, folks. I'm gonna roll. Thank you. Five dollar house margaritas, five to seven p.m. Monday to Friday. That's a good price, man. And, and you guys remember, if you watched my stream yesterday after AKs, I bought a blender, a booze in the blender from the Margaritaville in Miami. If I, I forgot it, I forgot it. If I brought it with me, I could have got it refilled. Oh. That's too bad. I don't need another drink. I'm tired. <laughs> I can feel it, Jay. <laughs> we had a long day today just between the driving and uh, vlogging and getting around to all these places. And then we've got uh, Willie T's across the street. Yeah, everywhere. Sometimes you hear like three, four songs at a time. You don't know what's playing. Let's go across the street. You can see uh, Willie T's. You think this place has got enough stickers and money, uh, dollar bills around? Yeah, Hong Mao, uh, lots of money around, dollar bills. a hurry to leave the Key West, I forgot to pack my socks, so I had to buy it from the Gap store. Last time I forgot to pack shorts, this time I forgot to pack socks. <laughs> but it's okay because I always need socks. I had to replace a few because uh, they had holes in it. That's how much I walk, folks. I, I wear out my socks so much. So it's actually, actually be put to very good use. If there's anybody who goes through socks, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. You do a lot of walking, dude. Yep. You walk more than I do. And you know what I did with uh, the sock that went bad? I used it to hold my razor blade. So <laughs> I don't cut myself. I just put my razor blade in the broken sock with a hole in it. You wash it first though, right? <laughs> yeah, of course I wash it first. <laughs> I only find out after I get it out of the drying machine that there's a hole in it. Like, oh, it's clean though, but what am I gonna use it for? And it's a razor blade holding uh, container. <laughs> a lot of Cuban uh, or uh, yeah, cigar factories around here, dude. I'm not into yeah. cigars, but I heard that it, 
They make some pretty good Cubans around here. Yeah, because uh, originally this part of Duval Street, it was like the cigar uh, factory of the world. Really? Yeah, all the Cubans came over. So some of the better Cuban cigars in America are probably not just in uh, Miami, but here in Key West. Yeah, that's right. In Shan's Kitchen says male life hacks. Hey, you can reuse old things that you don't have a purpose for. My uh, worn socks become uh, storage containers for like sharp <laughs> objects. My, or, uh, my used Crown Royale bag where you put Crown Royale uh, your booze, it comes in it. I use that for like putting like Vegas uh, bedding chips in there. In the oh, past. yeah. <laughs> that works. Yep. And of course, the uh, traditional way to use worn clothing that have holes in it or whatever is just used as a cleaning rag. Yep. Yep. Hey, there you go, AK. There's that karaoke joint we saw earlier. Oh, yeah. We might be singing like those people are in uh, Willie <laughs> T's, right? Willie T's. Willie T's. You know, JK loves the karaoke, bro. Sing that karaoke tonight. Dad <laughs> Cation's in here, you know. He's oh, no, following I, us. He's gonna get mad. He, does, he doesn't want to hear. He doesn't want to hear me sing tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Got to save save your audience's ears. Well, right, look at no. this uh, Vietnamese food place, dude. How awesome is the name of that place? Oh yeah, I'll zoom into it. You think this place is awesome or what? It's pho. Like the, the Vietnamese soup pho. Pho. King. Awesome. Or in the words of the Miz in WWE, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Oh wow, they're here for a wedding. There's a bride-to-be there yep. and bridesmaids. I guess it's a popular wedding destination, Key West. It's a uh, bachelorette party hotspot. It's only a Monday today, so I don't expect it to be too crazy. Looks like Mango's closed up early for the night because uh, they have the the chain up the up array. No more people allowed in. But usually they have like live entertainment as well. It's more busy around here on like a Friday night, Saturday night, or holidays. Yeah, just kind of like how it was in South Beach on Saturday. Yeah. That was cool to see, man. Sounds like there's some kind of show happening in here. Oh yeah, look. There's like dance party. Tropical heat clothing optional dance party. Ooh. That may be a little bit too wild for many of us. It's a pretty cool building right here. Yeah. Pinchers. The Pinchers kids eat free. I don't know why you want to have your kids out here. Late at night. <laughs> Across the street from the clothing optional place, right? Yeah. Dance party. Yeah, that kid, that kid will learn real quick about clothing optional <laughs> at a young age. How about all those cool roosters, man, that were passing by her? Oh yeah. Today? You scared the crap out of one earlier. Cock a doodle doo. That's right. I interrupted one of the crows. Jay's never seen one of that before. He never knew what knows what it did. What's that? To uh to interrupt the rooster crow. Yeah man, I don't mess with the rooster dude. Poor rooster almost choked on its own cockadoodle do. <laughs> Check this out man. The New Orleans house, Bourbon Street Pub. How much do you think that slice of pizza is, bro? Uh, at least five bucks. And I'll say six ninety nine for a cheese. Too expensive. There it 
is. It's like New Orleans in Key West. Yeah, he was saying it looked like New Orleans, and now it's actually the New Orleans Bourbon Street Pub. <laughs> People here are happy. Well, you're making that voice, man. <laughs> <laughs> I can do a different voice when I live stream, too. Nice voice. Stop by Stop D asked Jay where all the Padres gear went. He's a real Key Weston with that tank and buck and hat. This guy wants me to. This guy wants to call me out on my Padres gear. All right, here we go. Here we go. Boom. Oh. Reef Padres slippers, and it's got a can, a bottle can opener. Boom. I'm In the slipper. Gear, bro. How practical, man. No free feet picks though. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hong Mao says it feels like I never left Key West. Yeah, because I filmed so much content there, uh, here and uh, posted it already. I don't think I have any more Key West content from that last trip left to post. But uh, if you're not sick of Key West content yet, I am making some Key West content as we speak, so you won't get tired of it. <laughs> hey, you filmed like three videos today, dude. I did, yeah. I filmed like three videos today, and he was like, I'm not going to film that much. <laughs> so I, he, I ended up filming a lot yeah. more than I thought. It's good, man. The more content, the better, I guess. Yeah. Man, I've been going through t-shirts left and right. This is like my third t-shirt today. <laughs> That's how hot it is over here. Yeah, we're a lot. He already left. What did he say? He's like, you're vlogging? I don't get it. He's like, why? Oh, you're vlogging? Yeah, you're vlogging. You can't, I can't even respond to him because he's already away, like halfway down the block. Shots by Scott D says, uh, love it, represent Jay, go Padres. Yes, sir. Yeah. Hey, Rob Marias. 1999, props to AK and JK. Stay hydrated, guys. Hey, thanks for the Thank you, up. Rob. Cool, Rob. Mahalo. Oh, wait, I'm not in Hawaii anymore. <laughs> Mahalo anyway. Jay's all confused now because he's been traveling to <laughs> different places already. Way too many places in the last two weeks. <laughs> I'm looking forward to being back in San Diego <laughs> <laughs> until the next trip. That's right. Yeah, Ski D's, we're back in Key West just for a little while. And uh, Jay Cation's here with me. Hey, John says when you come down to Florida, I'm hoping to stop in Key West and see you again. Haven't been there since May, May 4th, 2009. Has been a while. That's quite a while, my friend. Oh. Yeah. Definitely a long time. I've never been here, period, bro. Yeah. What did you uh, think of Key West before you came here? Did you think it was, uh, you know, <laughs> worth it to come or not? Or I remember I used to play a video game. A racing game on my uh, I think it was on my Sega Genesis it might have been Gran Gran Turismo uh -huh. the racing like, like you just race around Florida streets and you'd go through the seven mile bridge and that would kind of be my how I formulated my thought of uh, Key West and the song Kokomo from the Beach Boys when they say Key Largo Montego baby <laughs> yeah that's how I like formulated it as like some sort of Floridian paradise and it is it's pretty cool yeah ski says go to Willie T's yeah we were just there we're in the uh, quiet section of Duval Street now once we got past like that block it gets a lot less uh, lively down here and uh, AK I was telling you man you could look to the left you see the Atlantic Ocean you look look to the right you're uh, the Gulf of Mexico and it's literally on the east side of the street yeah so that was a cool drive man and then mm -hmm. at the very end I crashed I was like sleeping for I was in and out of sleep <laughs> <laughs> that's right over here's a sushi restaurant the sushi song I think I'd like to try one of these like Asian places in Key West I know 
we've tried a lot of like seafood and uh, like American food here, especially me. But I like to try like a sushi place or the Vietnamese fucking awesome place. Let's check out the reviews first, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure it's good, but. You gonna cross it? Uh oh, no. Yeah, we got it. We can go. <laughs> Kim Twister says, I need to go to Charleston, South Carolina. Awesome place, good food. You know what? I've been to uh, many places throughout the country and even throughout the world. I always find good food no matter where I am. And I really enjoy like sharing it with you all, taking pictures of it or telling how my experience is. Especially if you follow my second channel, Action Kid Extra, plugging it there, you can see, uh, all my experiences with different food. And I know some people, they like, kind of knock me by saying that, hey, AK, you, do you ever give any bad reviews on your second channel for food or every expression to use the same? And uh, for me, I kind of really appreciate the food that I get all the time. And I kind of really know good places that I want to eat at before I go eat there. I'm not intentionally gonna go to like some no-name place like a McDonald's or you know a random takeout place and say oh, I'm gonna order bad food you know Here, here's the thing man when it comes to like food videos because I, I do a lot of food videos and people think that I'm a food critic yeah. like I, I, I'm not a food critic I'm just a person that wants to show you an experience I do my my research beforehand and people say it's good and if I don't like it, I'm not gonna post it because I don't wanna be the reason why like a place loses business, you know what I mean? I know, exactly. So if I don't like something, you just won't see it on my channel. Yeah, I don't really like that either. Like uh, people like to give bad reviews to restaurants saying that, oh, like I didn't like the way they grilled my meat. It was overcooked, you know, this is the worst place ever. Meanwhile, maybe a better thing to do instead of posting it online for everybody to see, if it was overcooked the first time, you should tell them in person saying, hey, I think this could have been made better, it was overcooked. Maybe next time when they cook it the right way, you're gonna really like it. Yeah, you gotta. Yeah. You have a sense of responsibility, especially when you're on, your own, when you're on YouTube, especially when it comes to food places. Yeah. If it's not good, just don't post it. That's, that's how I see it. You know, if it's an okay experience, I'll show it, you know, and, and you guys can see how I, I talk about food. Never talk down about it. Mm hmm. And if it's something I don't eat, I just won't eat it. <laughs> just like Dinuguan, which uh, AK just tried. Yeah, I tried uh, Dinuguan and I was like, okay, it's got an interesting texture, a little bit bitter. Little did I know that I find out that it was uh, something that... Oh, you want to say it? Okay. I was going to say, hey, you're going to find out, but yeah, it was beef blood. You still want to see the guy's reaction when he eats it. Yeah, you want to see me. I'm like... I'm trying to say nice things about him. I'm like, ah. And the owner's right there watching too. And I was, me and her <laughs> were both laughing at him. <laughs> I know. Didn't you have ice cream here? Yeah, I did. This place, um, the homemade ice cream Flamingo Crossing. I want to show it off because I didn't put this on Action Kit Extra because the last time I came to Key US, I filmed so many videos. I was like, this is my last, like, meal of the day to refresh and cool down that I didn't even bother reviewing it but this place is good it's homemade they're really known in Key West um, made with the freshest ingredients since 1987 so they've been here for like 34 35 years already Hey, thanks for the uh, thanks for the love, Rob. I see that you like uh, my food and travel videos. So appreciate it. All right. I'm trying to peek in every now and then to uh, to the comments. <laughs> yeah, that's right. R R and P. Watch Anthony Bourdain's videos. You'll know where to go and eat in Key West. Oh man. He is a famous food critic. Do you remember my uh, Anthony Bourdain uh, impersonation earlier? Oh, what was it? <laughs> Key West is uh, the home of the conch. And in Key West, you'll find tons of key lime pie, a lot of humidity, and amazing clam chowder. 
<laughs> and then no reservation starts. I, I miss that guy. Rest in peace. He was a, him, me and uh, Here Be Bar. Uh -huh. he, uh, Anthony Bourdain is one of our inspirations for starting our travel channels. So. Yeah, that guy's uh, one of the most well-known food critics of all time, you know? Me, I can't really do reviews like uh, him or even Jay can. Sometimes, like, I don't even know what I'm eating. I'm like, oh, it's an interesting flavor, very unique, nice. But you got to say, like, oh, this oregano spice combined with a salsa sauce with the ultra plush English muffin. <laughs> yeah, you got to do that. Not like the way I am. Oh, it's so good. Oh, you can't review food like that. He's a, he's a chef. Well, I try he, anyway. He was an experienced chef, so so Berdane knew exactly how food tasted. He studied it. It was like his art. Yeah. You know, just how like basketball was Kobe Bryant's art. That was uh, Anthony Berdane's, and he was just a great storyteller. Yeah. So uh, yeah, he's well missed. But I definitely got to rewatch uh, his Key West segments. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm like the uh, average person's. <laughs> review a food review oh it tastes good <laughs> very good <laughs> oh uh, there were two notifications Jeff McDonald saying I uploaded two videos that's weird because uh, there's only one hi hi Brooklyn in the house you hey I'm from New York too Queens Astoria yeah we're in Brooklyn where? Oh. Oh, Crown Heights. Oh, Crown Heights. I've been in all the time, you know. Yeah, yeah, Utica Heights. Avenue. Yeah. yeah. yeah That's yeah, also yeah. Eastern Parkway. Yeah. Totally. Right there. Eastern Parkway, nice. New York. Yeah. West Side, Bronxville. That's right. Bushwick, Park yep. Slope. Been all over there. Park yeah. Slope, man. Yeah. yeah. I'm from Brooklyn, time. born and raised, man. Yeah. That's what's up, man. I'm here for a little bit. Where yeah. Cool. That's Peace right. Brothers in Brooklyn. All right. You know Shout out Let to Brooklyn know. too. I'm still here, baby. I'm holding it down. Represent Brooklyn everywhere I go. All right. Like I said, we South Beach everywhere. You heard? Everywhere. Peace. Brooklyn's everywhere. Take care, man. Look at that. We found a New Yorker here. New Yorkers are everywhere. Yeah, I think you got away with uh, the, the music. We were too loud. <laughs> That's what I figured. I know. <laughs> Yeah, Kim, Brooklyn's in the house for sure. Brooklyn, Queens. Brooklyn, East New York, Brownsville, Park Slope, Bushwick. Ski D says AK Food Go. This is so good. That's that's it. Becky says, it's true, it's a small world. You know, not just New Yorkers either, but uh, people who just run into each other sometimes. I know one of my relatives, he bumped into someone from the same neighborhood as he was during the same exact trip in Mexico. I'm like, what are the chances of that? Is that what we're gonna end up doing here? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it, why not? Why not? The weather's nice. Yeah. Nice, walk. nice and non humid right now. Well, it's not it's sunny. It's still humid. Ah! Hi. Hi What's up? <laughs> no, I'm YouTube. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. What's your YouTube? It's uh, Action Kid on YouTube. Alright, I'll look at it. Oh yeah. my god, you got a load of people. I got a lot, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Good one there. Jump scaring, bro. I know. I was like, whoa. <laughs> I got scared. <laughs> it's like this. Wow. That's how I was. We're going to the southernmost point in the continent of the United States. And we're going to find out if it really is the southernmost point. R R P says that kid was scary. <laughs> Last time I got scared like that was uh, by a dog when I was in East LA. <laughs> it was barking on the corner and uh, it just 
when I went past the fence. It's okay, man. You, I wasn't far behind, so <laughs> there would have been a nice haymaker. You know, I'm, I come from the Manny Pacquiao school of Filipinos. Yeah, no Pacquiao. So, you know, I say thanks be to God, to the Manny Pacquiao, to my fans. Uh, I would give him the left hook. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, yeah, La Truce, what's up? We're here in Key Truce. West. That's yeah. That's my mod, bro. Oh, he is. That's my mod. Yep. I call him for real because he's La Truce. What's up, Jay and Ken? Hope all is well. That's what he said. Things are not well. Jay is uh, obviously dehydrated right now. Nah, man, I'm sweating my Botox off right now. I'm actually, I'm actually feeling good. It's just uh, it's hot. It's humid. Yep. But you know, it's all good. We're powering through. I'm happy. <laughs> yeah. We're having a good time. Hey, John, you ran into somebody that knew me when I was down in Key West. She came out of the Sloppy Joe's bar and she knew me. Oh, wow. There were a few people that knew you today, bro. I know. Somebody uh, from Fort Lauderdale recognized me. Two people. And it's actually a rather uh, chance event because. I never announced I was going to be down in Key West again, especially uh, with Jaycation here. Lizzo says the final water sprinkler run through it. Uh, good luck with that here in Key West. You're not going to find that. What There's water sprinkler. Final water sprinkler run through it here. Fire hydrants closed. You can't do that. Hey, hey Jay, nobody's uh, at the southernmost Ooh, point. You can see thunder. Yeah. Jay, we gotta get get away from the La Jolla over oh, there. that smells, man. It smells like sewage. That seaweed over there, man, it's some, something gnarly over there. <laughs> something gnarly died over there, dude. Yeah, we don't want to go near there. It's like a pile of ghosts or something, or like <laughs> carcasses of like whales and conch or something over there. I know. And I call it La Jolla because uh, I was in San Diego last year in August and Jay Cation brought me to La Jolla Cove and uh, it doesn't smell that good over there. I'll put it that way because there's tons of sea lions, birds and uh, all the other kinds of animals there and uh, yeah. Bird, bird, bird. Yep, bird, animal bird. fluids and waste combined with the seaweed and everything. Yeah. <laughs> This is the kind of expression you're doing there. We were, we were trying to keep our vibes up and being positive in that video, but the whole time we were. <laughs> That's uh, what's happening over there now. Although there's no like animal uh, waste over there, it's mostly just seaweed overflowing from the Caribbean, going on the sh shore and decomposing. So, yuck. Yeah. <laughs> hey, there's no line for the. Uh southernmost point which I is, know uh, which ain't true man because uh, Hawaii is actually more south of uh, Key West yeah the globe. <laughs> and this is not really the continental United States man bridges are, the, are what connect us to Key West so. yeah if it wasn't for the bridges it won't be continental <laughs> Maybe you could put this in your video if you want to experience at the southernmost point with no line. You come at, uh, what is it, 10 o'clock at night now? 10.30? 10.27. Yep. <laughs> so we're only 90 miles from Cuba, folks. Or are we? I won't uh, review some more facts about this buoy. You're gonna have to wait till Jay Cation's video. Because <laughs> I gave him some facts on this buoy that uh... Oh yeah, wow, look at that. Moonlight. With the moonlight. This is so cool, man. You gotta get a picture here. There's nobody here now. It's perfect. And the moon is lighting it up perfectly. This is amazing, folks. You gotta come here at night. There you go, AK. I'm going to try to get a picture of the point by itself with the moon. Yeah, Hung Mao, there's the live cam behind us.
I'm waiting for her to uh, get out of the way so I can get one of the buoy by itself. Look at that, right up there. That's right, Latrus, bright moon. And uh, it's actually going to be the full moon in a few days. That's right, I love the glimmering water. Jay's busy getting some pictures. All right. Once Jay gets out of the way, I'm going to take a pic. How many people do you know have a picture of uh, the southernmost point at moonlight? Most of You're in the way, Jay. Oh, crap. All right. Hook a brother up. Got it. Can take all the pics you want, and no one's here to bother us. I got it. This is the time you come and it'll be all lit up. Hold on, wait. Oh, this is good too. Maybe not, I'm bent down. All right. Thanks, dude. Yep. How are we looking here? Oh, wow. The light is actually pretty nice. It's nice. Put that on your video, oh, man. man. Nice picture, bro. Look no that problem. Guy. That's an Instagram. I right want a pic here. like that. Right, let's, let's, let's put this down. I'm going to get a pic like that because it's unique. Everyone gets a pic during the day, but not here with the moonlight. This is amazing. And That's it's only like a, a certain time of the year when the moon's in this position, you know? Where, where should I stand? Here? Uh, next to the S. The S here? Yeah, where I stood. Right there. One, two, three. Let me get sideways for you. Yeah, for sure. Well, that was with flash. I don't know if you wanted flash. That's great. There you go, AK. All right. Perfect. Oh man, that's so nice. You got one with the moon too. All right. Heck yeah. Maybe maybe point it up a little bit taller so you can get yeah like something similar to that where I don't want the moon all the way in the upper left corner. Yeah. Is it? Oh, it's oh, okay. You're yeah. You're good. <laughs> yeah. What are people saying over here? I know, they're saying uh, not like daytime, it's not busy now. I know, and it's uh, really, really nice. Okay. And there's nobody here pra practically. You want one more? Yeah, one okay. where uh, the moon's a little bit higher in the sky and you can still see my full body. Gotcha, man. Yeah. Ghosts and Gravestones tour behind us. I'm get ran over. You know, this, ahead, okay? this is a haunted place, you know, because this is uh, <laughs> like where all the shipwrecks happen. So they're probably talking about that on the, on the trolley. I don't have enough night pictures. And the night is, it gets really hard to take pictures. Oh, 
Uh, yeah, it's not too dark because uh, when you take pictures, the iPhone, it holds the picture still, so it captures in more light. But, but it's actually very nice when you take a picture. On video, it's dark. You see, that's how the phone up. It's a little lighter. Meanwhile, you get something like this right now. Hey, uh, New York Life Vlog, welcome. Nice, dude, we're up to 800 people now here. I huh? know, what happened? Welcome, guys, thanks for watching. We in Key West. <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't smell like La Jolla here, so no. it's, we're good. <laughs> walk back? Yeah, let's walk back. All right. Let's go to Whitehead Street here. I'll show you a different street going back. Yeah, Danny, uh, Key West is beautiful. Street looks a little more haunted, bro. You know I don't do haunted stuff, dude. Oh, no? Mark, he says he saw us on the live cam. Yeah, it's over there. Hi, live cam. <laughs> you know what I he don't hear? The rooster crows. What happened? <laughs> Where do all the roosters go to sleep anyway? I don't see one. They, uh, they hide in the bushes, dude, at night. Let's find, a, let's find one. <laughs> oh, no. Let's, is, is this uh, JJ and AK going rooster hunting? You're gonna, yeah, you're gonna, ro rooster hunting instead of rat hunting. and uh, disturb the roosters this late at night? That's yeah. evil, bro. I know. Because, <laughs> uh, you know, me and Jay, when we went to Vegas, we uh, looked for rats near the Mirage. Uh -huh. And uh, here... We got to look for where all those roosters went because they're all over the place during the day. But at nighttime, it's like they hide so well. This is crazy, man. This, this is like creepy right now. This is like, uh, I, I need uh, I need some uh, mace right now just in case, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's not dangerous. It's not place. dangerous, man. We're next, to the, we're next to the Naval Air Station. You it's think true. you got the U.S. Navy right here Shout out Jose to the Padron says they're in the trees in the is there bushes. is there a sleeping rooster up there they're in the bushes uh, 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 uh. where are you man they uh they hide so well super dark here AK. I know this is a different part of Key West that you don't normally experience. Can we cut back into Duval, bro? Yeah, let's go to Duval. <laughs> I don't think I don't think Jay likes uh, quiet yeah. streets. <laughs> a little too creepy for me, bro. Okay, we're not gonna go to the Ghosts and Gravestones trolley tour with Jay. Yeah, I promise yeah, that. Yeah, boy, don't watch horror movies for a reason. <laughs> we're going back to Duval. GX72 says that's where the roosters hide in the dark areas. Yep. Yep. He's right. Ooh. See? Look. I just got hit by a tree branch and I was already, oh my god. I know. You should have seen his reaction. It was like, <laughs> that was a ghost. Ghost hunting. Where's yeah. your uh, Where's your flashlight, dude? <laughs> oh, I left it, uh, left it back in the hotel. Ah. So. <laughs> <laughs> Seabreeze asks if I have an email to send you some pics of from the live cam. Yes, actionkidtv at gmail.com. Sweet. Yeah. Or you can tag us on Instagram. Yeah, that'll work too. Jaycation TV. Jaycation TV. I'm Action Kid TV on Instagram. Nice, yeah. I try to get Action Kid on Instagram and actionkid.com, but uh, they were taken, so we had to put TV at the both of our names. Yeah. And we didn't even know each other yet. We put TV on our uh, on our Instagram. <laughs> you know, it's the only thing that makes sense because uh, you won't have Action Kid YT. 
Yeah, my friend yeah. Uh, Jacko, he's a manager in the Philippines, so mm -hmm. the bigger YouTubers in the Philippines, he told me, make your Instagram Jcation TV if Jcation's already taken. So I'm happy it's actually Jcation TV. Um, I'd get I'd get the account Jcation if it were available, but someone uh -huh. took it. Yeah, I know. They don't even post on it. <laughs> it makes me so mad. I know. All right, we're back in the light where Jay likes it. All right, I'm good here. If that, that little, sh I was gonna say the S word. If that kid was, he was sitting right there, man. He was gonna, oh, I yeah. was gonna, I was gonna plunk him over the head with this camera, dude. He's lucky. <laughs> He's lucky, dude. He started laughing. <laughs> What's that place? Oh, look at that VIP? club. Some sort of club. Dude. Oh yeah. Some kind of club for sure. Yeah, I think it's a steakhouse actually. A <laughs> steakhouse? What kind of steakhouse is over there? Um, I think it's called Strip Steak. <laughs> Ski D's asking if it's expensive for lodging right now. Yeah, it's a little bit pricey for lodging. We're paying a little bit under uh, 300 a night for our room. That's how much I paid last time when I came to Key West. Here's those galleries people keep talking about. Some of them are legit, some of them aren't. Yeah. I can't tell you which aren't. I'm not a... I was just, uh, reading, uh, I was just reading articles about it. I'm not a uh, art... Um, how do you say it? Assessor. They're also saying that there's a cosmetic stores here from like makeup um, that sell cosmetics and then the products are just, they don't, they're not good. Yeah. <laughs> so just watch out for that stuff. We'll talk <laughs> about it more in my uh, rip off video. I know. Jay's been working hard with his vlogs. Well, let's see. Oh, my camera still turns on. 8%. Oh. 8%? Okay. Be careful, or you might eat your battery too. <laughs> yeah, I'm done. No more filming for the day. <laughs> We're done. Totally done there. Lorraine Avelina says, What? No Florida resident discount? You found many available. Yeah, now we're this place. I was aware of it uh, from the last time. Someone was mentioning about it, but. You know what, that's the rate. Beck says, uh, might need another souvenir. Who? You might need another souvenir, right? Me? Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Tomorrow. Yep. I just wanted to do my uh, reconnaissance first. So I'll get some tomorrow. <laughs> for sure. Simply Jess says, nice to see you back in Key West. Yeah, I had some uh, videos I wanted to film last time that I couldn't finish this um, until this trip. So I got, I got a good amount done today, especially Jay's reaction to his first time in Key West. I think you're going to enjoy those videos. Life is good. Country conk. Country conk. Throw it up. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see. I turned the corner. <laughs> Whoa! Don't drink and drive, guys. That was a loud scream. Nice keychain. Oh, yeah. You can get yourself a rooster keychain. <laughs> Uh, Praveen says, any damage from the 2017 summer hurricane that hit Key West? Um, from what I can tell, I'm not from around here and I don't know what kind of damage it caused to Key West during that time. Duval Street looks like it's fine. I mean, I've been like sparsely throughout the other neighborhoods in Key West, 
like on a drive here and uh, I noticed there's some homes which are like unfinished or some that are like vacant but I don't know if that's been from 2017 or what so I can't really give you an answer there and then that one bridge with uh, that was collapsed but oh I yeah, that's from something else, right? the Bahia Honda uh, bridge. Yeah, I don't know when that gap got uh, was put in there or got caused. <laughs> the New York City walking show said you should get a home there. Uh, yeah, I mean, if I come here enough. Don't drink and drive, guys. <laughs> I can do that too. Beep, 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 beep. Woo! Woo! That was more like uh yeah that was that was pretty exuberant bro yeah and i never <laughs> drunk so That's i never true. i never drunk That's the drunker drink don't. you don't drink you just drink water yeah you love the water i love the water that's that's what happens when the water gets to you right <laughs> 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 What? They're just making <laughs> laps around the neighborhood, just going, woo! Ah! Having a good time. Man. I know. Before they gotta get back to work. <laughs> Wake me up when September ends, man. When people get back to work, <laughs> vacation time over. <laughs> it's over. Yeah. <laughs> The people that are wilding out right now, they know they're going back to school, oh, they're going boy. back to teaching, or they're going back to their desk job at work. Yeah. So, so they're just wilding out here in Key West. <laughs> they're having a couple of them slushies. That's they get right. <laughs> My guess was that was a hilarious impression. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, RRMP, they're on vacation. I'm excited. I'm excited too, man. I just don't show it as much as they do sometimes. <laughs> See, like me, like my career is Jaycation, right? Yeah. So I have to show Jaycation destinations. So even though I'm working, still like, you know, I'm on a little vacation, but I still got stuff to do, you know? Uh huh. I see. I think we're getting near to uh, where we should wrap up this live stream. <laughs> we both need showers and to. Uh, oh, yeah, bro. I feel sticky, icky, icky, ooh-wee. I took two showers today in Key West. And, I'll uh, take another one today. Yep, you know, I'm gonna have to do laundry in the sink when I get back. My laundry in the sink hack with uh, white distilled vinegar. <laughs> oh, that means the bathroom's gonna smell. Yeah, it will. Man. How about I use the bathroom last? All right. <laughs> Viva! Viva Argentina. I, I like steakhouse. the other steakhouse down the street. Yeah, that one's good too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you you wanna? I wanna show them the street right here, this corner street. Oh yeah, Olivia. Let's show them the hotel that. Um, I mean, not the hotel, the bed and breakfast I stayed at last time. Yeah. The um, seascape. If you missed it, then uh, this is where I stayed at. Hey! hey. Anniversary it is tonight. Okay. Yes. Five years. years. <laughs> All right. Olivia Street. Olivia. So, uh, very famous Olivia passed away today. Olivia Newton-John. So rest in peace. Very famous singer. Yeah. So Olivia Street. Mm. That's it. Rest in peace. peace. gonna 
show you the hotel you stayed in last time? Yeah, just the entrance to it. The bed and breakfast. If you uh, missed my review of this bed and breakfast, then check it out on Action Kit Extra. But I really enjoyed my stay here. We didn't stay at this uh, place for this trip because we want to try somewhere new. But uh, I want to thank you all for coming out tonight to watch this live stream. Let's uh, wrap this up before the baby gets any louder. <laughs> That means it's time to go. So, I don't know if I'm going to go live. Might, I might not. Mm -hmm. Might, I might not. We'll see. But maybe tomorrow for sure. Mm -hmm. No, tomorrow for sure I'll be live. So Okay. Thanks for the love. Hit the like button and bye. <laughs>